Ishwara, please look at the screenshot. Do let us know if you're able to recall something. Yeah, I mean, I looked at a screenshot. It was, I think, the very first class I had, where uh, we had a lot of internet issues. I could not hear them. They could not hear me. And then we had like a phone call, and then there was a platform. And I was very upset as I go. So much of time has gone. And then uh, I think it was Vamsi who took my first session, and he was like, you know what? Let's just play tic tac toe. Uh, so I was like, wow. New. I was like, why is the teacher wanting to play? And then it's like, it was very nice, kind of gelled, got me involved into the session, and then we started on with the class. He took a physics class for to uh, magnetic forces, and honestly, like, I like physics, but I never really got the concept. So that was like one of the first sessions where I was like, oh, this is interesting to learn. It was not just like you know, this is the theory. You study this. It was more like you know. How do you do this? What can you do with this? There was a lot of interaction in, so I really liked that first session. Eight years ago, you were our first paid student. Back then, in 2014, when there was no penetration of online learning in the market, at that time, what made you believe in Vedanta? So honestly, like uh, one, I got to know about Vedanta through one of my school teachers. She was like, you know, I know a few students. Uh, that I have taught in the past, like they have a startup and it's about online learning. Why don't you give it a try? So I was like, okay, fine, something new. But then my parents were very apprehensive. They were like, what is this internet learning? Doesn't sound safe. Also, very concerned. I said, you also sit into the class. You can see what's happening. And then after like a lot of thought, we were like, okay, first session we'll book. It was the first session. Literally got me hooked on. One of the, I think the highlights of the session was the whiteboard. I've never got across an interactive whiteboard where you know I can write. My teacher is also writing. We're both able to. It was like two people sitting together and just you know solving it on a notebook. So that was very nice. And the more sessions I took in, I was like I honestly loved every single class that I took. It was more of that personal attention I got. More of like my way of learning was picked up by my teacher, and they tried to teach me that way. That was something that got me onto online learning. How was your experience of learning online with Vedantu? Can you share some memorable moments from your first session with us? Most memorable to has to be uh, one was tic tac toe. The other was I think we played some game where you know once he just randomly asked me some questions like oh. What do you do in your free time? What are your hobbies? What sports do you play in school? It is not like it was just like during the class he'd be like, okay, you solve this question. Midway of solving, he'd be like, अच्छा, what is your hobby? So I'd be like, what? So it was very nice. It was never like a monotonous. There was always something to look forward to during the session. Not just study wise, I would have an interaction. I'd be like, okay, the person's interested to know me as a person, like a student. It's just not just like you know. Okay, today we're going to teach you additions. I'll just get it done with. That was something that I really loved in the classes. There has been this notion that online education should just be an extra option. Studying offline is more important. What is your take on this? So before Vedantu, honestly, I didn't think people could study online. And then after Vedantu, I was like, if. You're really in for it, like you know, you are interested to learn, and the person who's teaching you is also into teaching you. I think online platform is the most convenient way of learning. Your time, your space, your comfort. You don't have to go out. Sometimes you have to travel lots just to get a class. So online does the best. But again, it's you have to be really interested in learning. Otherwise, so offline, online, I feel it's the same. There'll be no time. We've heard many stories about our girl students appreciating online learning. Being a female, do you feel online learning provides some extra advantages for girls over offline? Definitely, because where I stay quite far away from the city, so back when I 2014, I didn't have really good coaching institutes nearby. So my dad had to like drop me to the institute, pick me back up. So sometimes when he was busy, I would not even go. And sometimes the classes ended like eight, nine, and back then people didn't travel as much. I would say uh, so. Bus me when I would get on, there'd be hardly any people. So it was very, I would feel unsafe. So online learning was very convenient for me. I'm like, I don't have to worry about safety. I don't have to rely on someone else. Especially when you're in school, you might. I didn't have a license. 
and I did really honestly didn't know how to drive also so it was just public transport for me and that did take a long time and it was unsafe so that way it was very convenient for me and my parents also had that it was more for my parents I would say they were felt you know my daughter safe so that is something online learning provides compared to you know offline when we go somewhere what was the most valuable lesson you learned at Vedantu which helped you change your life and you still carry it till today? So I was just talking about this to Smriti. Uh, so I think one of the sessions Zamsi very randomly like usually is like, Acha, do you really want to do engineering? And I was like, yeah, everybody is doing it. I also want to do I took science because I want to do engineering. But then he's like, are you sure? Think about it. I'll ask you in the next class. That's how he said. I mean, obviously he didn't ask, but that gave me a point to think, do I really want this? And the more I thought, I was like, I really don't want to do engineering. So from that was something, so now every time I have to do something, I do ask myself that question, do I really want to do this? So if it's like a pakka pakka, 100% yes, only then I do it. So that was something actually helped me from not doing engineering to what I really love doing. And now I'm working where I'm really happy. So that question really did change. Since 2014, we've expanded rapidly from one student to lakhs of students with multiple teachers and branches across the country. Being the first starting point of all this, how does it make you feel about Vedantu now? I so honestly feel very proud. Every time I see like a news article about Vedantu or someone talking about Vedantu, I just like, I was part of this. Like, I experienced the initial stages and I know how extremely passionate the founders are, their ideology behind it, their vision. So it's like a very proud moment. Even today when I'm in the office, I'm like, still can't believe this is real. Like from what I saw back eight years back to what it has become. So always proud of being part of Vedanta. Being our first online student, what message would you like to give to Vedans studying with us currently? So I think one simple message I would say is Vedanta as a whole stands for, you know, nurturing and teaching. The whole name, they resonate themselves. The name is what they truly are. So if you get a chance to be part of this amazing organization, I think it's one in a chance. You'll definitely have something about you that'll change. You learn the teachers are very passionate. Everybody wants to help you grow. So it's like a lifetime journey like you'll have at least one memory that you'll take and be like you know i got this from Vedanta.